Hello, today I am going to show you, uh, tell you about this project. Now, now this is very similar to the capacitor experiment. Capacitor experiment is the capacitor is providing energy for the LED. But this is not LED, because this is a bulb. I'll just uh, show you the difference. This might look like a LED from the top. See, this is a mini size bulb we are using. Now, in this experiment, it's not exactly the capacitor providing the energy. It's just that when the charge is given, the capacitor is storing the energy. But the bulb is taking the energy directly from the battery. But when the when there is no give power given, then this transistor it's like uh, turned off you can just say turned off so it gives more energy and then the light bulb tries to work on that energy now this is a very different transistor as a component it is a power transistor i'll show you how it uh, i'll tell you how it was uh, after i show you the demonstration now this green wire we are gonna I'm gonna put it right there. This I'm, we are just going to use this green wire as a switch. So now the light on. Now when I leave it still glows. Now it might take some time to dim the yeah, it's done. This is just a ten uh ten mu f capacitor. Now, this capacitor, you can experiment with different ones. This is a 10 mu f. Now, I'm going to show you with the 22 mu f. Now, this will take more time to dim. One now mu f capacitor. Let's see how fast this will go. So now let's see. See this is a one mu f. We can't expect any more slower. Now I'm gonna try something I put a lot of capacity. A two twenty mu f. No, no, I don't think you want to watch this it's very, very, very slow experience of seeing the light bulb dim. So you just try this at home and try it out with the 220 uh, uh, capacity capacitor. Pretty. So now I'll show you what this power transistor does. It's tight. See the you see this metal piece it's not there on the back but here see see the metal piece this piece is uh, used for uh, absorbing the heat heat of uh, heat made by the battery current now this power transistor can uh, hold a lot of current it will be like it can take more than one ampere ampere of current so you can find out that it is quite strong but seriously never touch it while after you are given lot of power to it after 
for a long time. You can also attach a nice and large metal piece if you want, so that you can uh, what say it won't be very very hot. No, because then there be it'll be easier for it to remove more heat. But it's not really necessary. Bye bye and see more projects at our website www.electronicsforkids.com.